Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. Today we're in chapter 21 and just verses 5 and 6. Let's, let's listen to those. Then, as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and donations, he said, Jesus said, These things which you see, the days will come in which not one stone shall be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, here's a lesson. The disciples are looking around and they see this, this vast complex, the temple complex, and it's, it's premium. It's, everything's been done there to really make it uh, be notable. And yet, when the disciples pointed out to Jesus, he says, guess what? You're, you're, you're mistaken. If you think this is something, don't worry about it. Hey, th there's not one stone that's going to be left upon another. And you might know that historically, that in 70 AD, when the Romans had surrounded the, the area, the Roman armies, that uh, it, there was a fire that happened, began there, and then it melted the gold that was on the walls of the temple, and the gold ran down in between the, the temple, the, the stones of the temple. And what did they do? They got in there over the years. They went in there and pried everything apart to get at the gold. And so Jesus was right again. Not, not The stones would not be left maintained upon each other. The things that look like they're enduring, like they're going to last forever, uh, those things, don't be surprised if they go up in flames in just a few moments because God's things are eternal. His word, it will last eternally. But every other thing that we see, everything that we can make, hey, the World Trade Center looked pretty impressive, didn't it? But then uh, today, it's not on the skyline anymore. So everything changes. God's word doesn't change, but everything human changes. And God has a plan for us. If we will give our hearts to Jesus, he is the unchanging rock. He will transform us and help us to be all that we want to be as human beings following Jesus. Oh, may, may that be our case. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus has a warning here that the things that appear to be so permanent to us, so immovable to us, uh, those things, uh, they look immovable right up until the very end, and then they're gone just like that. So, Lord, we just pray that we will uh, be ready to receive from you. You will teach us these things. Teach us not to trust in things that we think are surely going to last. The things that will last are your things. Help us to trust in those things. We thank you for Jesus, and in his name we pray, and we ask, amen. So, friends, the things that look like they're always going to be there, a lot of things have changed in just a few years, haven't they? Things that we kind of thought would always be there. The Constitution will always be respected of the United States. Uh, well, things change pretty quick, don't they? So, hey. The Lord bless you today and get into the word of God because there is the one enduring thing that you and I have. There's nothing else left but the word of God. May we seek and follow Jesus.